prototypes, what, what if, if, and alternate an insider's packaging, look at rare pages 319. And unreleased projects. And alternate packaging in just a few minutes on Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Stay tuned. Hey, what's happening? It's your buddy Jeremy, Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok, back again with some more reading of the book. Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We are starting a new chapter near the end of this book. Prototypes on page 318. And we're going to read page 319, two subheadings, what if, and alternate packaging. We're going to learn about some Atari projects that didn't quite uh, make it on the, in the stores, but they're still very cre uh, creative and intriguing. I I'm sure many of uh, retro gamers out there, retro game collectors, will find this uh, chapter most fascinating. So let's get on with the reading. First, let's read above here. we we'll read What If, first subheading. Page 319. Subheading, What If. An insider's look at rare and unreleased projects. In a fast-moving environment like that of Atari's, ideas flow freely from all sources. Concepting, research, and development become avenues to test ideas, challenge previously held notions, and work through creative ideas with other talented people. Thus, many ideas, both good and bad, end up on the cutting room floor. But the products and elements that never see the light of day can still be illuminating. The following are some of the rare and unseen projects of Atari with details on how they might have fit into the constellation of Atari's products. To the right, I assume, is a Atari game machine that was not released to the public. And I think we're going to learn more about that machine later on in this chapter. So stay, stay uh, patient. We'll learn more about this machine to the right. There's no description about this one. Next subheading, bottom right corner of page 319, alternate packaging. As Atari grew, it was clear that the console and game packaging would need to evolve. Faced with a host of competitors and more choices on shelves, Atari endeavored to update its brand look, primarily in consumer packaging. The company wanted to communicate the premium experience of its games, setting it apart from Activision, Imagic, Coleco, and other rivals. But the design was certainly not a foregone conclusion, and Atari's team worked through many iterations that centered around how new titles would integrate into the existing line, and how the release of new consoles, brackets, the 5200 and 7800, and computers, brackets, the 400 and 800 models would impact the overall brand look. And above, quite just some, somewhere in the middle, there's a description here. It reads, during the early phases of Atari's consumer packaging redesign process, many alternatives were created. The design in, the, in this set of rough initial concepts still retain the bold colors of the 2600 original boxes while incorporating new updated elements. Designer Evelyn Seto, or Seto, pardon me. The first box listed here is an alternate version of Breakout for the Atari 2600. Artist Evelyn Seto. The next game box is an alternate illustration front cover of the game 
Circus Atari. For the Atari 2600, artist Evelyn Seto. The third game box in this list, depicted here, is an alternate graphical version of Asteroids for the Atari 2600, artist Evelyn Seto. And here is a fourth game box depicted here. It's a uh, alternate version of the Indy 500 for the Indy 500 for the Atari 2600. It was originally designed by art. The artwork was uh, drawn by Cliff Spohn, but this design was an alternate version from Evelyn Seto. And there you have it, folks. That was What If and Alternate Packaging. I, f I hope you found it uh, intriguing, uh, educational. I certainly enjoyed learning about these uh, alternate versions of Atari games. Tune in next time. We're going to read page 100, 320 next time. We're going to learn about handhelds for the Atari machines. I will see you again real soon right after this video. I'm going to take a little break, but I'll be uh, back with some more content. On Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok, send some likes, send some love if you like uh, video game video game history. And um, I'd like to see some of your gameplay of these games. I will send some likes and loves to you, to your channel. Till then, take a break from the computer and the gaming and the PC whenever you get a chance to do some physical fitness. Stay healthy, nutritious food, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.